Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So they nerf Violent Rune and they are going to separate your rune for RTA and other content. In other words, this is the best update ever. Now since most of the point has been discussed by the popular streamers, I'll just give you my point of view as a budget player on those two main points. Now you guys know this already, basically whenever a player takes a proc, the other player is gonna get 5% chance to proc more, while the player who took the proc is gonna get 5% less chance to proc. Now as a budget player, this is such a good update guys, cause we don't have better monsters than them, usually they always use 5 pay to win monsters and we have to use 3 or 2 free to win monsters on our comp, but then as long as we pick correctly, we can win against those monsters. What's really frustrating is that you already outdraft your opponent. For example, they have no immunity, you bring to CC, right? And yet somehow they still win because <laughs> they proc out of your CC all the time and you cannot for the life of you get a single proc on your team and you still lose. Now that is really frustrating as a budget player. So with this update, that is gonna happen way less. And we can keep our cool even more in RTA guys. The sad fact about being a budget player is that we have worse monster than the opponent for RTA. Also, we have worse rune. What I mean by this is that we don't have enough OP rune to rune all our monster. Even though we have only a small selection of monster pool for RTA. So what we do is that we go to our PvE content, guild content, we took all those runes and give it to our RTA monsters. And as a result, our other content is going to suffer. For example, in my case, I got kicked out from my guild because... <laughs> I had to allocate everything for RTA. Just look at my defense, guys. My competitive guild is gonna say, Hell no to this. They're gonna say, Hell to the no to this. And most likely, to this. Since I give my best Laika set, Vampire, to Miho. Since Miho is the best Laika, we know that already by now. Fuck you. But now we get to enjoy the best of both worlds. We can have OP rune for RTA. We can also have OP rune for Seeds and Guild Wars. <laughs> I'm so happy guys, I can't stop smiling. So for example, I can use this OP rune set for my Diana for RTA because Diana is the best horse for RTA that I have. But then I can use the same amount of set for my shitty Helena who's not even good at anything. Fuck you. She can do guild seats and PvE with the same rune. So it's like, I have two horse to play now. And my Diana don't have to be very mad at me and, and curse at me every time I play with my Helena. Cause this time she'll have a rune and be fully clothed. By the way, regarding the violent nerf, there's some theories out there. For example, say, what if you have all swift monsters on your team and your opponent has all violent monsters? And then you just CC the heck all of those violent monsters, guys. And every time they proc, they're gonna lose their chance until 12%. So basically, they're stuck at 12% because you're not gonna give them a chance to get up. You know what I mean? Also, could this mean that we can put one violent monster on our team? For example, I put my John on in my team on violent, and then just make her proc even more. <laughs> so it's always my John's gonna get way more chance to proc than the other monsters. Get my gist? So that's the theory, and we have to find out whether that's detrimental or true after the patch. So overall, I'm happy with this update. I believe come to us is making a difference here. It's gonna make the game better and way more fun for everybody. Also, come to us. I exist. Please. And thank you for you guys for watching and I'll catch you later on my next video. Bye!